Hello. Today we will learn how to install Linux in a virtual machine that is VMware Workstation. You can download VMware Workstation from any torrent and install it on your PC like I am using this VMware in my Windows. So you can also install it and you can create new virtual machines in your system inside your computer so you can practice Linux and work on Linux environment how it is so let's start here I'm clicking new virtual machine then it is asking me typical recommended or custom so let's start with typical is asking for DVD drive which contains the CD or DVD for the Linux installation and there is also an option that if you have an ISO file downloaded from any of the CentOS any of the Linux distribution you can directly use that ISO file it will treat it will treat that ISO file as a as your CD-ROM and we'll install via this so now I'm selecting it here is the CentOS file now I'll click next and this is the virtual machine name and here is the path where you want to install that virtual machine and the hard drive which you can which partition you can select for the Linux that you will be starting so right now I have a space in that my E drive and I am creating I am installing that Linux in my E drive and I, I am clicking next and here is the available and uh, available disk allocation right now I am only allocating 6 GB to this virtual machine from my E drive then next and you can also customize the hardware how much memory you want to give that virtual machine and if you want to give CD drive and other things other peripherals to the this customized machine here you can see customize hardware and you can customize this like I am minimizing the RAM I am limiting it to 840 for example ok and I am clicking finish so so now I am powering this machine up and here you can see that this virtual machine has been started Here is what it has. Uh, here is what it has get from. It has got from. Here is what it has got from the ISO file uh, as it is considering as is as it is considering it as a CentOS CD. So now just when I click it, I just need to press enter. here you can see that this virtual machine has been started when you click on the terminal on virtual machine and if you need to exit from that virtual machine you have to click uh, you have to press control and alter key at once so like you can see that my mouse is now visible and I am out of that virtual machine I am again clicking inside the machine so this is the CD test we can skip that is 
setting the hardware like VMware SG adapter this is, that is a virtual adapter for this virtual machine so here we go with CentOS I am clicking on next the selected language will be English again US English and just saying that it will remove all the partition and data from my drive and this drive you can see it is 6142 MB that is 6 GB which I allocated in the beginning so I click yes and I can easily format it because it is a virtual drive and this will not erase my debt, any of my data so remove all partition on selected tri uh, drives next yes and then we can also assign IPs here manually or via DHCP if we are really using local NAT and here from we and from here we can assign manual IP address with subnet mask that is maybe two two five 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 two five five dot zero or something else. So let's start with my DHCP because I am using it as a virtual machine. I am clicking next and here we can set time zone here it is Asia Karachi can use ultra times UTC password we can set here must be 6 character long this is the next screen if you know genome you can select it or you are familiar with KDE you can also select it from here and these are server packages and virtualization packages some and others so I am doing customized installation so I'm, I have selected customize now next and from here we, uh, I can select which package I, was, I want to install like if I don't need development libraries I will not install them I need them so I'm starting them these are the servers if you need them any of them you can install them from here rebooting this virtual machine so it will be rebooted the system has been restarted and let's do next steps Forward. if you want to enable firewall you can enable it from here then I see Linux in 4 C I suggest you disable it. And you can also set date and time. In 
one thing more here you can set network time protocol and define at NTP servers for syncing your time with that server. Now user for this Linux So here is our screen, screen. And so I am entering my username So this is a Linux, Linux We can see here Here is applications Here you can find office, programming, sounds, system tools Internet, browser, and references, administration, and all things that are present in Linux uh, on Windows. And if you want to enter terminal, just right click on this desktop and open terminal. So from here we can see what is the IP of that of this box right now. This su dash command is to enter the system by root root access. That is the main access, the admin access of the system. So here. I can see that it, the IP is 192.168.235.128 and VMware always net the IP that is it translate the network address at your PC to this virtual machine so we can do browsing here we can communicate with this IP and if you are using PuTTY you can just browse this IP from your PuTTY terminal. PuTTY is just like this terminal and it is remote access. It is for remote access and you can access it from anywhere where this IP. So that is all about how to install Linux and CentOS in virtual machine through which you can practice all how it can work. Thank you very much. We will meet later. Thank you.